Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. Gary Russell has called out Javante Tane Davis for like the 70,000th time. And I still ain't never heard Javante Tane Davis really rebut him and say, I welcome that smoke. We back. Good fella Sports TV in the building on the boxing tip. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And uh, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. Promo code GoodFellow1 Boxing. Get you 18% off their all natural products lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bomb, deodorant, hair pomade, muscle relaxer, rub. You definitely won't be mad at their products. Website, promo code in the description. We'll be back, all right? And, um, you know, Gary Russell called him out, um, like, last year, too. You know, he keep calling Javante Tank Davis out. He called out Leo Santa Cruz. But we already know what type of uh, duck cloth Santa Cruz is uh, is cut from. Okay? And um, quite frankly, I'm getting tired of Javante Tank Davis not fighting nobody. All right? And also, Gary Russell told uh, Fred from Barbershop Conversation that, you know, he, you know, basically, Javante Tank Davis is in the way. I want to fight him. He said it all last year, too. And Javante Tank Davis is quick to rebuttal with Tevin Farmer. He quick to rebuttal about a lot of things, but pretty much he stuck on pause when it comes to Gary Russell. Now, we got to call this acceptable ducking. All right? When is he going to shoot back? You know, Hugo Ruiz, he just fought January 19th, and clearly, if you watch that fight on the Adrian Brown and Manny Pacquiao undercard, he clearly not ready. You know, he clearly should have scrapped his data or tried to fight Javier Fortuna. Now, I think I think Javante Tank Davis, I think his legend is reaching um, damn near Leo Santa Cruz duck status. Because this dude didn't fight nobody. And not only that, where, you know, Santa Cruz kind of get a pass because he's a very nice guy. Talk nice. He don't talk trash about nobody. He's real, real cordial. I mean, he, he cool, so... A lot of people overlook him ducking because he has such a nice personality. You know what I'm saying? And the ducks that really that really people don't like, a lot of them, and these exceptions to the rules, are the guys that talk a lot of junk but don't ever back it up, like Jarrell Miller. You know? They talk a lot of junk and don't back it up. I mean, I think Errol Spence falls in that category. You know what I'm saying? Talk a lot of junk but don't back it up. But the nice guys, like Santa Cruz and Jerry Hurd, they get ultimate G passes because they play the role perfectly. And that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But I'm on that ass. All of them. Okay? But Javante Tank Davis, he's he starting to reach Big Baby uh, Miller status. You know? And I mean liter figuratively, figuratively, not literally, because he'll never be that big. Or maybe between fights, he can't get that big. So at the end of the day, I mean, at the end of the day, wait, is Javante Tank Davis going to strap his nuts on for Baltimore and fight Gary Russell and, front and finally face... And finally fight a meaningful fight, even though it's a guy that's coming up in weight. And people probably going to complain about that because he ain't fought none of the guys in his weight division. Well, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? I'll take it. You know? And a lot of people assume that Javante Tank Davis will win that fight. But Gary Russell seems very, very adamant that he pretty much uh, clipped down a young bull. He said he watched him coming up. He said uh, Tank Davis always looked up to him. If he tell you he didn't, he lied. And now, you know, when... You know, idols, when rivals, well, what shit, when idols meet rivals, I guess, you know, when your idol become your rival, then you got to go there and do what you got to do. But at the end of the day, all these reporters get around Tank and and they don't ask the questions, okay? You scared of a little, you know, a little yellow Pikachu, man. Ask the motherfucker question when y'all see him about Gary Russell. And I believe somebody did ask him a question. He kind of, at the uh, Gary Russell fight. Uh, down there in the DMV, he kind of, you know, brushed it off a little bit. So, salute whoever asked that question. It might be Fred. But at the end of the day, is he gonna, is he gonna, is he gonna stand up like a man and piss like a man? Or he gonna sit down on the toilet and piss like a girl? And I think he gonna sit on the toilet and ignore that. Say what you want to say. You know, Mayweather Promotions is taking, uh, is taking his career like it's a fragile package coming on Am um, Amazon truck, and that's true. But at one point, did this dude step up and stop using age as an excuse? All right, Canelo, you know, fought Cat Pillars young in his career. He was fighting better competition. What about Javante Tank Davis? You know, it's we're pretty much similar to Canelo, a weight class that he naturally bigger in. You know what I'm saying? 
And he needed to fight some of them guys to unify, but he refused to unify. Jose Petraza, years later, still the only big name on his resume. And if Leo Santa Cruz don't fight Gary Russell, you know, then, you know, Javante Tank Davis and Gary Russell need to fight. They can find, fight the Barclays Center. I think they can headline the Barclays Center. Because obviously they say down there is no, is no venue big enough to make that fight happen. And Javante Tank Davis kind of took a shot at, at Gary Russell when he fought uh, Jojo Diaz down there at the, uh, at the MGM National Harbor, whatever it's called. He fought him. He said, well, I'm too big to fight down here. I sell this thing. God, I got too many fans. You know, so I don't know exactly, you know, the arenas down there. I don't know why they couldn't fight, fight where the Wizards play at. Good promotion, you know what I'm saying? You know, down there and probably try to team up with some more fighters down there and then put something together. You know, Lamont Peterson, uh, Jer Hurd, you know, and put all them three on a card. At the end of the day, you know, if Tony Harrison beat, I mean, if Tony Harrison loses to Jamel Charlo, you know, why not put Jer Hurd and Jamel Charlo and put Gary Russell and Javante Tank Davis and then you can put Lamont Peterson versus somebody else on the card down there towards the end of the summer? And it made perfect sense. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think I think Jay, I think Javante Tank Davis. Then again, and Gary Russell should be a, a, a headliner. Maybe they just do it at the Barclays Center. Makes sense. I think a ton of people will show up. I will show up to see that fight. But like I said, Javante Tank Davis scared to strap his nuts. So I'm telling you, Mayweather is scared for him. Leonard Ellerby is scared for him. They keep saying he's gonna turn him into a pay per view star this year. Not fighting Hugo Ruiz or fighting Abner Mars. We don't want to see him fight Abner Mars again, or, or or that fight lined up again. No. You don't fuck around and get two tune-ups out of a three-fight. Then you're going to say, yo, big fight is Tevin Farmer at the end of the year when he, when he leads his own. Nah. Tevin Farmer is a tune-up. We all know Tevin Farmer ain't that good. And anybody told you that he could beat Javante Tank Davis is lying to himself. You know, his year should go more like whatever he's going to do with Hugo Ruiz. Okay. In the middle when he get his second fight because he's obligated to fight three fights. His second fight should be unifying with a champion. Okay. You know, I understand Bracek got a promise to uh, a Lomachenko fight. So, really, it's only Ito, and I don't think that can have He tied up with top rank two. So, you know, can't beat Tevin. You know, so I guess he could have fight to fight Abner Mares. You know, and then at the end of the year, he should fight Gary Russell, and then come back and fight Tevin Farmer top of next year, unify, and, and call it a year. But he won't. He's going to come back, fight Hugo, tune-up, and then possibly Tevin Farmer or another tune-up. He ain't going to fight nobody. Ain't too many guys to fight at 126. You know, I would like to see him fight Machado, but he on his own. Ito, Ito is messing with top rank. He, they got, still got options on him. Rochette is still messing with top rank. Tevin is still with his own until the end of the year. And I don't think they're going to re, re him up either. They may re him up. You know, so really, man, that's the only fight they really can do is Gary Russell and Javante Tank Davis. And I'm starting to believe that Javante Tank Davis don't have faith in his skills and they don't have faith in his abilities. And Gary Russell is looking real, real confident real hungry. He said he want to fight... A lot of times this year, he said he want to stay sharp in April with his mandatory, which is the guy from Mongolia. I think he going to blow him out. Okay. Then he want to fight Leo Santa Cruz. Then he want to fall into the Javante Tank Davis fight. You know, and where's Javante Tank Davis at saying goddamn nothing with his tail between his legs? It's hilarious because he always got something to say about somebody else. And like I said, I like the kid. And people going to say I'm a Javante Tank Davis hater because I'm telling the truth. But I like the kid, and I'm a big Gary Russell fan. I met Gary Russell at the Barclays Center. Really good brother, man. But at the end of the day, he's starting to talk his shit now. He's starting to move them lips and understand that the closed mouth don't get fed and doing what we ask him to do. A lot of people don't like Gary Russell because he said he really don't watch boxing and love boxing. Trust me, I, I met a few amateur, a young amateur boys that don't even care about boxing. They don't care about professional boxing. All right? That's not real uncommon, you know, amongst the amateur ranks, but... Uh, let me know what y'all think about Javante Tank Davis. Is he going to woof? He going to say something? Tweet this video to him. I want to see what he got to say. Is he going to talk his shit and fight Gary Russell? Or are he going to sit there and shut the hell up and keep fighting bums? All right? Goodfella Sports TV. Y'all know what the business is, man. Um, uh, Twitter and uh, Google Plus no longer going to auto share our videos to um, to Twitter and uh, Google, uh, Google Plus anymore. So I need you guys to share the videos across social media. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. We'll miss another video. I'm hopefully catching our new live stream, NBA 101, Hip Hop 101. I might unveil a new live stream today. So be on the lookout. I'm doing less boxing live stream because it's just it's too polluted across YouTube, man. And motherfuckers all want the same shit every day. I'm tired of arguing with you niggas too, man. 
But uh, don't forget to check out the Hillblaze at thehillblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Box to get you 18% off their all natural products, lotion soaps, foot soaps, bath bombs, and much, much more. Head over to the Hillblaze.com. Promo code and uh, website is in the description. And like I said, salute, man. Appreciate everybody for checking in. And uh, keep looking out for us and check out our playlist and check out some of our new live stream and new content we're dropping. And I definitely.